La mayor feria internacional de grabados llega a Nueva York. Hoy vamos a visitar Prince Fair. Vengan con ¿Y cuál es la historia detrás de los grabados? Bueno, mira, los grabados hay de muchos tipos, hay varias técnicas, pero básicamente la idea de realizar eso, un grabado es producir una imagen y reproducirla un número finito de veces. Eh, cuando estamos hablando de arte, eh, ser, las imágenes se reproducen, pero en un número muy limitado, para que, digamos, tengan un cierto valor para los coleccionistas. Y bueno, toda, todas estas técnicas que cualquier coleccionista puede apreciar en esta feria tienen sus orígenes básicamente en el Renacimiento. Making is a very, very old art form, but historically, prints were used to reproduce works of art in other mediums. So, in other words, artists would copy a famous painting, and then the prints would be sold to people. This is before you had mass publications. This is before you were really able to reproduce in newspapers or books, uh, accurate reproductions of pictures. So printmaking was a means of reproduction of a work conceived in another medium. And gradually, printmaking was transformed into a creative and expressive medium in its own right. And that phenomenon, although that is a, a, a side effect, shall we say, of modernism in general, it was really the Germans who initiated that transformation. Uh, and there was an artist, an important 19th century German artist named Max Klinger, who wrote an extremely influential treatise in which he said that black and white images are more effective for expressing ideas and expressing emotions. And furthermore, that in a cycle of prints, like Otto Dix's circus cycle, which you see here, you can explore all the nuances of a given theme in a way that you can't in a single painting. Photography is a, is a chemical process, it's different than the other printing processes which are physical. Um, so the, the artist makes, uh, traditionally it was done on stone and uh, contemporary processes allow us to work on aluminum plates. So the artist makes a drawing on a plate or on a transparency and we can transfer that to the plate and make a printing element and we have one printing element for each color used in the print. 
So like this print has nine colors. Oh, so wow. th so there are nine plates, one plate for each color. So there's two yellows, an orange, several blues, and so the artist has to we together we determine what goes on each plate and how how each plate will be drawn and then how they'll overlay and make make other colors. I like the matter of, of communication. A print is a multiple. You, know, you don't have just one. The print is more or less uh, uh, regarded at a reading distance. So it's very intimate, like reading books.